For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, meaning we're not all going to die. But we shall all be changed. And these bodies have to be changed because they're weak. They get sickly. You know, they're disease-filled. They're disease-ridden. We need a change. We need a change definitely. Okay? And Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give us that change. And we believe that by faith. It is written, Yahweh Shai shall arise with healing in his wings. Healing for this body by giving us a new body. Okay? But we shall all be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye like that at the last trump that's when Yahweh Shai comes back to bring that destruction and salvation as well along with those missiles at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed so as we're being taken up into the chariot to escape from the destruction as we hit the chariot right before we hit it we're going to be changed like that we're going to be in a whole different makeup a whole different body okay as it is written here, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. So our body is going to be perfect. And this mortal must put on immortality. Immortality literally means cannot die. So the next bodies we're going to receive, brothers, when Yahweh Shai comes back, we will never die. We'll never get sick. We'll never get tired. As a matter of fact, Isaiah 40 and 31. Let's prove that. Isaiah 40 and 31. Let's start the 29th verse. He giveth power to the faint. We are the faint. Earlier today, I felt like I was going to drop dead. <laughs> you know? Hey, I'm still here. You know, by the grace of Yahweh Hashem Shai, I am still here. Okay? And I'm here to do this work. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. There you go. Even the youths shall faint. That's us. And be weary. And a young man is not supposed to faint. A young man is supposed to have virile strength, man. But the system that we're living in, we're fighting so much treachery, man. We're fighting the chemtrails, we're fighting GMO foods, we're fighting the, you know, the stress, you know, of just being in this kingdom, the wickedness. Even the youths shall faint, as it is written, and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, who's that? That's us. We're waiting upon the Lord, are we not? Shall renew their strength. I just read it to you in 1 Corinthians. Shall renew their strength. Because we're going to be changed. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. What does that mean? That means we're going to be able to fly. Like a superhero. Okay? We're going to be able to fly. Okay? And this ain't for everybody. This is only for the Israelites. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. You know, one of my favorite... When I used to watch the Super Friends back in the 70s on television. You know, in the mid to late 70s. You had the Super Friends... One of my favorite, and I know he looked like a Edomite, but I, he, he had that, that speed, was the Flash. You know, he had the ability to, to, to run at, at supersonic speeds. I dig that, man. I really dig that. The ability to run with supersonic speed, you know, the Flash, you know. So we're going to be able to do that. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. So for us to be able to run like a Flash, that means these bodies we're in will have to be changed. We can't do that now with these bodies, but the body we're going to get from Yahweh Shai will be able to do that. We'll be able to fly, we'll be able to disappear, reappear, we'll be able to run like a flash. There you go, all right? And they shall walk and not faint. So there you go. So, getting back to 1 Corinthians 15 and 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and literally means raised because we're going to be raised right into those chariots and we're going to be incorruptible and we shall be changed. There you go. But this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. For our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Rock it out, Yahweh. 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 Rock it